four piece kit camp. So I've got my axe, which hopefully I'm gonna be able to do everything I need to do with. My lighter for fire, my zebra cat for boiling zebra can for boiling water and a wool blanket for warmth. So we're gonna take this easy for the third first one and uh, see how we go. This should be quite fun. I haven't done any sort of survival video or living like that in well over two years. So yeah, it'll be good to get some new skills, brush up on some old ones and see how much suffering and uncomfortable, <laughs> uncomfortable beds. That's always been a priority of mine. A wool blanket. Whose idea was that? That wool blanket's all four years old too. And it's got moth holes in it. It's uh, my go-to warmth for camp. Apart from my Arctic British sleeping bag, which I simply don't have with us. So yeah, I'll do another empty out of my bag. I've added two more bits of kit to it. So, four, six. So it's gonna be like six stroke depending on how long it takes me to break the survival straw. Not survival straw, survival saw. That should be uh, quite an experience. I'll show you that, it's just I've always seen them and but I've never really put one to good use. So brought one of them and also looked out my old survival kits and found an old survival sleeping bag stroke foil thing. And I'll show you that too. Hi, plodding on. As you can see, there's a lot of birch in this section of the woodland, or air woodland. Some wildflowers have been tended by the woodland keepers. This is uh, quite close, but popped in here because there's. Let's see if I can find some nice, sexy birch bark. Temperatures really dropped now, the sun's gone down. Just walking through all this wild garlic, I think I'm gonna harvest some leaves and take it with us. Just the really big ones. <sighs> Loads of it. So I've just got to the camp I'm staying at tonight. Uh, the, the old riverbank camp. Uh, it's got tables and chairs but nothing like a bed so I need to build one of them before obviously I can go to sleep. And I have my axe and my survival saw. One second I'll stop here and go and get them. So these are the items I brought with me. Plain and simple. Zebra can, boiling and purifying water. Hot drinks. Because it's got nippy all of a sudden. Uh, my axe. This is These are the two bits I added. You know one of these survival saws. Everyone's seen them. I must say, I'm not expecting great things, but we'll see. Um, my lighter and my wool blanket. And then all that's pretty much left in my bag is just steaks and food and nice things. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know if you want to count the bag as a piece of kit, you can if you want, but I'm going to call it six pieces. Oh, and I've got my tripod. Yeah. And the light for the camera, so which is obviously your kit because you can't see it without that kit. So, but I'll carry it for you, don't worry. Also, that this small amount of birch bark bone dry just jumped out my skin. I just heard a gunshot. <laughs> I don't even know why I jumped. I hear gunshots all the time, <laughs> it's just unexpected. So, yeah, I got a little bit of birch bark. Uh, oh, I've got the yeah. Uh, Wild garlic leaves also, which I'm going to use them to cook my ribs. As in wrap the ribs in them and cook them, cook them in somewhere. But we'll get to that once we've got set up properly. Yeah, you can see. You can sort of see my breath in the air. I'm so glad uh, 
we built that other massive fire reflector that's going to keep me nice and warm tonight going to get this long log fire going and get these stones heated up just to show everything this is your kit here <laughs> my uh kind of crappy tripod and uh, just a power pack keep everything going don't want to be losing power halfway through picked saucer tinder so all these very very fine bits as i've only got a lighter but this is all dry as a bone so I'm quite lucky about i want to get it going straight away because i wish i brought my softy jacket now <laughs> My back's freezing. So I've been down to this wall of tinder here. There's lots of good wood. Not decent for a bed yet, but I'm still searching. I'm more concerned about the fire at the moment, just to get some heat into us. My hands start to go stiff when they get really cold. You can see my breath now down on the river bank. It wouldn't surprise me if I have a frost in the morning. Small bundle of tinder here I've graded it some really really dry straw and bits of roots and twigs that hear that snap that's a perfect snap for dry wood that and I've got a second grade higher but I found this bit of nice bone dry birch which I'm gonna take more of the skin off and uh, make some shavings out of that too with my axe I'm gonna get this back to my camp. And here's what I've done. I've just basically sort of feather sticked the end of that entire log, like mini log a bit. Got all the shavings here too. That's gonna to be the base along with my really fine birch bark here. And that should go up with my lighter when the wall or tinder and a lot of top catches and then yeah, that's how it works in theory. <laughs> Fire's going. <laughs> du -du 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 -du. Oh, the heat is awesome. And it's bouncing right back off that back wall too. Pretty good. So I'm down, just filling up my zebra can just because I haven't really had a drink since I got here and uh, this boiled up will be grand I still haven't sorted out a bed yet <laughs> I'm getting there I've been bimbling around Zebra can's on Mouth as dry as a bone Too long like so we're boiling just a little wood wedge cut with my axe nice do me I also have a start on a bed. I only have two decent beams long enough to do this way. So I'm going to have to go this way because I've got loads of little dry bits like that. So yeah, I'm gonna got to this point now, I've got a little table there. Just built put in the bed right along here. Another little table there. So I can pretty much lie the full length of the fire. And then uh, once we've got to that point, I think we'll look at how that works. This is survival right here. <laughs> Got some nice uh, sugar jam donuts there too. Coffee. Yeah, loving this lark. Still not close to my bed. <laughs> Getting there. That's where I am with the bed. Just a little tiny gap left. And I'm sweet. I'm 
So that's my wool blanket. I'm gonna, I've got my thing there. I've got the bed finished now. It's gonna a little bit makeshift, but it's gonna be quite comfortable. Yes. Got the cabbage cream eggs sitting over there. <laughs> There it is, opened up. It's actually really big. Just, uh, yeah, it's just a foil sleeping bag. Pretty awesome. So I've just sharpened the stick with my axe. Probably the finest work I've done with my axe in a long time too hard to get the point on it because pushing with a heavy axe you sometimes bend it so I basically just sat it flat on here like that and just pulled it and used the axe as an angle just to shave bits off until it was right keep it flat and uh, sharp so I can stab it into the stake and it'll twist this will hold it into a twist if you know what I mean Stakes on. Just So that's me pretty much wrapped in my wool blanket on top of this uh, thing and if I get really cold I'm just going to get into that but for the moment this fire is absolutely sufficient the steaks are uh, doing good I'm going to get that eaten shortly I'm just going to eat it right off the stick like a caveman I need more practice getting fine work with my axe though can admit that like well I need a lot of work in everything I do but you know what I mean steak's amazing now I'm gonna get some shut eye after this so I've adjusted my sleeping thing just like dozed off after that steak and it's like nippy so I'm gonna get into the survival bag back to sleep which is dumped like a monster log on my fire all wrapped up again it is awesome it is awesome very uncomfortable bed but Need to maybe do a better one for tomorrow night. Uh, yeah, what else? I had my Gore-Tex jacket off and up at the top there, but I'll put it back on. And I'm going to put the hood up too. I'm in the uh, foil thing now too. Seems to be circulating warm. I can feel it. The fire's getting up too. A lot of big logs catching. I'm going to get a couple more hours sleep while the gun's good sun's just starting to come up Hmm. 
been a hard frost too. I'm just kind of warming myself up by a nice fire. Oh, it's awesome. Yeah, so I've got a... I boiled a can of... A zebra can of water last night before I went to sleep. It was nice and cold this morning, so I drank all that. And I've just got a fresh one on to boil now for some hot water for a coffee. It's frosty over there. And the uh, sun's coming up and it's starting to melt it all. It looks quite cool, I'll show you. I don't know if I'm staying here for tonight or somewhere else, but I'll see when I've woken up properly. <laughs> I'm quite tired. It's not like a full night's sleep, just like an hour here and an hour there. Because the sun's just coming up over the brow. If you look at the ground over here, it's crispy, even the wild garlic's uh, wilted because of the frost. There's young nettles. There's lots of nettles coming up now, all the undergrowth. I can't believe how frosty it is. Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the best sleep I've ever had and 1 being the worst. I'd say that was about a 4. <laughs> so, yeah, my wool blanket, there is no warmth properties in that at all like but then again it is it's not even a, a proper wool blanket it's like 55% wool 45% fake crap <laughs> it did keep us warm I mean I wasn't like I only really woke up when the fire died down and I put more on then went back to sleep so it was like that but those foil blankets yeah I'm not I'm inclined to say they're a bit rubbish too, but I suppose if you're in a survival situation, it's better than now, isn't it? Small little bits of firewood, I found a root there to put on. I want to just put loads of little twigs in between it, just so it catches easier. I'm still not fully defrosted. Every time you walk away from camp, like out of the box, it's like the cold just slaps you in the face. I think it was a, a good idea coming here for this just because of the fire and the little space for the bed. It's pretty, pretty awesome. view last night I had in the, the fire just lighting it up and then there was millions of stars in the background it was epic it's a shame I couldn't show it on camera Although the stars don't show up they're not bright enough <laughs> just lying here chilling in my bed thinking about how I can make it better and more comfortable for tonight I'm just going to stay here tonight again. Uh, yeah. There's loads of growth coming up now. No idea what they are. Lots of them. And also I just spotted these uh, 
daffodils over here. the thin wood here. I'm just gonna cut it into decent sized pieces. This is this is why I should put it flat against so it's not gonna break. Or <laughs> a mission. Bacon's on the sticks. Where I go. It shouldn't take too long, like. I'll turn it in a minute. Nice that bacon looks. I'm starting to get some crispiness to it now. Just a bit longer. Got a nice cheese roll. I'm gonna stab on the end of that stick and heat up too. Be awesome. Oh yes. Oh yeah, I may have scrimped on that. Uh, Kit and all that, but I've definitely not scrimped on food. Cheese rolls. Whilst watering. <laughs> Couldn't resist it. Why not, eh? everything I dreamed it was going to be. <laughs> so that's me packed up all my stuff, well my six pieces of kit and my food bag and uh, I'm heading for a wander and I'm just going to leave that fire smouldering nowhere slowly it's surrounded by stones it's not going to go anywhere because I'll be back in like an hour or, hour or something. This area right here is why I can't keep self inflate and roll mats for too long. I 
position. Oh, shit, there's a big pigeon there. Pop the checklist camp out. Make sure it's all good. And uh, yeah, I think I've killed the front end of the shelter with. See how it's browned off. I think that's the fire. I think I've scorched it. It's everywhere else it seems to be green apart from the front. But look, the ivy is still growing. And See all the little sprouts, little sproutlings coming up through the moss. There's hundreds of them, there's a nettle there, a little baby nettle. And the ivy's proper spreading right through it, it's even like at the doorway there. Another little nettle. And over here. So it might come back yet. Got ivy up there too. Right here. So aye. Chuffed a bit when they grow man, they'll be sweet. The proper camo. The walls are still green too. It's just the front end of that where the heat would hit it from the fire, so yeah, I might have to redo that bit at some point. But that's not for this trip. I just popped up to check on it and make sure it's all right. I'm heading back now. See if I can get some uh, lunch on the go and see how we're gonna do that. So I've been putting some real care into my bed. Discarded half the logs that aren't suitable. Started flattening these down from my back too, just the ones that stick up the most. Put a big pile there too for a bit to raise my head on. A beautiful day. Oh, drifter in the tree. You know that's bone dry. That's like my arms sweat. That is like proper in there, isn't it? There we go. Done. Should do the job for tonight. Cut off all the lumps, I've been laying on it like 10 times. Every time I come up with a lump, I cut a bit. Fire's still going quite low, too. Yeah, all in all, awesome. It's a very sunny day, loving the weather. Lunch is on the go. Some nice big thick beef burgers. I've already twisted them round one side. And I'm gonna have them in cheese rolls. You know why? Because we love it. I have no idea what that last clip was, but it was a living animal and it was 
about a foot and a half long, black fur, white nose, looked like a size of an uh, uh, otter or something, but it wasn't an otter, it looked like a weasel sort of thing. I've never seen one before. It made a weird noise too, like a ferret. Pretty much looked like a black, black ferret, that's what I'd say. Just sitting staring for a second, I sent it out and then it went into the hole. Burgers are looking awesome. There we go, the burgers are ready. It's like a cheeseburger. Technical difficulties with my chopping block. Keeps on falling over. So I'm working this bit of wood, it's quite a flat piece I found, I'm just uh, trying to get it to lose some weight.
hear a helicopter. Been back down to the river, which is like just not far. So it's nice and easy to get water. Just fill my zebra can up. I'm gonna boil that and leave it to cool while I'm making this. This uh, wannabe spade. I need a spade to make my lunch and to dig the hole for the pit oven, but it's like I'm not using my axe, I refuse to drive that into the ground, it's just too good for that and Adam would kill me because he's the one that kind of gets all the kinks out of it for us when I destroy it. So see, yeah, I'm grown as a person because I don't dig with my axe. <laughs> This spade's taking a while. Do look at the skill. I've just made a cricket bat. <laughs> just totally made a cricket bat. How awesome is that? <laughs> it's so bad. It's like the first thing I've ever carved in my life. <laughs> it looks diabolical, but it'll do to dig. It's got a blade and it's got a handle. So yeah, it'll do to dig. I might put some teeth in the end. It'll do. <laughs> As you can tell, my skills do not lay in carving. <laughs> a spade and I end up with a cricket bat. Priceless. Call it with shavings too. It's like a proper bushcrafter's table. This is the this is going to be my pit oven. It's the old Dakota fire pit we used to harden steel. Uh, yeah, I've got the old firestone back in there and then the, the base plate and then that. Pretty much dug it with my cricket bat that I made. The holes aren't open up because I don't need them open up. But I've opened them up from this side but sealed them from that side with stones. So I can uh, I'm gonna put put loads of stones in now from around my fire and uh, yeah see about getting a bit of heat in there so I've got a lot of cobble in there no sandstone and I've left enough space in the base to get my fire and my ribs in there I'm just gonna heat it all up now well in about an hour so that's my pit oven lit for my ribs I just basically took a cricket bat full of ashes out the main fire pit and just put them in here with some twigs on top I'm just gonna add some more in a second and wait until those stones are nice and hot and then scoop it out with the cricket bat put the ribs in laid with wild garlic to protect it and then bury it sun's starting to go down put the uh, loads and loads of the garlic underneath on top of what's left of the ash well there wasn't a lot of the ashes left I took most of them out I'm just gonna put more of this on just to protect it Oh, you can hear them sizzling. I'm gonna leave that like that, and I will be back later. I forgot clocks changed last night. Mine's changed automatically without us realizing. I'm thinking, sitting here thinking it's 7 p.m. and it's still light. But yeah, clocks changed last night. That's the, the lighter nights coming in and the lighter mornings. Yes. We get to go wild with building random stuff 24 hours and get four days, four hours of daylight out of it. Four hours of night, sorry. <laughs> you know those summers where there's like very little light. I love it. I've put a load of logs on my fire. I'm just waiting for my 
for my pit oven to finish off my ribs. Aye, chuffed or accomplished a lot on this trip. Aye. Besides that for logs. Gonna do me for hours. Yeah. I was babbling before. <laughs> it's like the summer nights where you only get four hours of darkness. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> I was just watching it back thinking, oh my god, what a mess of that you made. That's my bed set up again. <laughs> yeah. Terrible survival sleeping bag. <laughs> A wool blanket, that's also terrible. <laughs> it's all good, I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> Next up, I like that, it'll be fine. They're just my layers that I've taken off today. I'm gonna put them back on a bit later on. So when I feel cold. All I can smell is warm soil. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, start peeling this dirt back now and see what I've got underneath. I'll bring you back once I've got the dirt off. <laughs> I've managed to lift them out. Right. Oh man, all that little garlic. It smells nice. Oh, the bones are coming out easy. Taste of soil. <laughs> Go that for a sky. Just the redness on the river too. Majestic. That's the word. And I'm eating again. Some lamb steaks. Just a couple of them before bed. Oh, I made a little uh, <laughs> out of a wood chip. Just gonna be a little scoop for my chocolate trifle. Mm. The lamb's everything I thought it was going to be too. Just kind of fell off the stick where I bit it. <laughs> I'm just laying down chilling now. Watching my fire and looking up at the stars. Morning guys, slept okay, bed was a lot better, still a bit cold, yeah I'm gonna get up, dismantle my bed and sun will be up shortly, I'm gonna get on the path I think. Ground's frosty again, That's a frost both nights, so uh, yeah, I think I did quite well for a half wool blanket. 